Hello everyone, welcome to day 7 of 30 Days of iPhone Programming. Now today we'll be learning about two-dimensional arrays. Now this is something that may not seem as useful when you first look at it, but if you're trying to develop something like a game, something like chess, where you have a board um, with a two-dimensional board, you could say with a length and a width, it's really useful to use a two-dimensional array to keep track of everything. So that's what we'll be learning today. So go ahead and open Xcode and start a new project. I'm just gonna call it 2D array, uh, 2D arrays, and go ahead and create. Now, where the type of array we're gonna be making is a Boolean array. So go ahead into the viewcontroller.h and we're gonna declare it in here. Bool, uh, we'll call it uh, two-dimensional array, and we need to give it the dimensions. So. We need a length and a width. I'm just going to do 5 by 10 uh, because we can see the difference between the length and the width. Uh, go ahead and save that. Now the values we, because it's a boolean array, the values in our array can be either true or false. So we have to set those values. Right now the array doesn't have any values, so we need to set those. And we can't just do something like, um, if we try to do two dimensional arrays equal to false, that won't work because it doesn't exactly know which values we want it to set as false and even if we tried to do something like um, we tried to specify it would only do it for that point it wouldn't do it for all the values so in order to do that we need to make a for loop and that'll start with int x equals zero um, that'll be a starting value because we're doing the um, x dimensions first and we set the array the x dimensions will be five um, so go ahead into, whoops, uh, change the condition so x will be less than um, 5 and then the increment will be x plus plus. And then inside of this um, for loop we need to add another for loop and this time we're going to be doing the y dimension. So if you remember from the, um, just change all the x's to, the y, to y and change the 5 to 10 because that's what we set the uh, max on the two-dimensional array for the y values and then in here we're actually going to be setting the values so this will be two-dimensional array and we're going to do x first and then we're going to do y and we're going to set it because the values are nil now or at least up until now we're going to set the values to false just to have them all off and so there's no surprises or anything now in order to visualize this more clearly because if I build and run you're not going to see anything um, I do have a written out method that can automatically convert this into something you can see printed out in the console so I'm just going to grab that real quick and paste it in so now I'm just going to copy this in and you don't really need to worry about what's written here it's just for printing out the array, the two dimensional array that we have in a way that we can see it more easily and so it's not like it's not as um, it's listed as X's and O's, which we can easily understand as true and false. So I'm just going to type in here self array to string, and we're going to plug in the two dimensional array. Now I'm just going to close this out because we don't really need to worry about what it all looks like. So we're just going to build and run. Um, like I said, you can copy that into your own project um, using the source code below. So we're just going to run this and see what we get. So I'm just going to open up the console to see exactly what the output is. So it doesn't look like much, so all we can see is, judging by this, we see a 5 by 10 array. Um, and we can change this, so if we change this to true, and then we run it again, all these values should change to x's. And we can see that that worked. So now we can distinguish, we're, we're, we're seeing that we can distinguish between the true and false values of the array. So there's not much more to this. So now what you can do is actually customize your own values. So we can take this code here and add certain values to certain of our dimensions. So obviously we're going to set this to the opposite of what we set it up here. So, and we need to make sure we're, when we're doing this, we need to make sure we're actually within the dimensions of the array. So the X values have to between, be between zero and four. So I'm just going to do zero um, and maybe five. So the x has to be between 0 and 4, and the y, as you remember, has to be between 0 and 9. Uh, so we can just do a bunch of random values, doesn't make a big deal. Um, it has to be, if you do something that's outside of the dimensions of the array, then you're going to get some errors, and we don't really want to run into that. Um, so to avoid that, just make sure you stay within the dimensions, and now if we try to run this, and we should get some different values mixed in with the two-dimensional array. 
and there we go we have some random x values thrown in there and this it really is useful if you're doing something like a game and you want to keep track of things more easily um, I'll have a actually a big project that uses this it's a game um, at the end of the month that I'm going to be releasing uh, and it'll use rely on this heavily so that's why I kind of wanted to explain this to you now so thanks for watching and I will see you all tomorrow the source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.